having an amazing day. My name is Mae Tilly and you're watching OMG's Organization Back to School Edition. In this series, I'll be uploading 10 videos about organization, back to school, and there might also be a few DIYs in the period of one month. I know. And of course, no intense series marathon would be complete without a prize at the end, so therefore, I'm going to be giving away a iPad mini. All you need to do to enter in this giveaway will be to subscribe to me, Majorly, and put on post notifications and follow me on Instagram at Majorly Official. Yep, that's all the rules. Super simple, right? If you use any of the organization or back to school tips or recreate one of the DIYs in this series, then make sure to hashtag your Instagram post, OMG, it's organization. And I'll go through all your posts and like them and even comment on some of them. This video is a decorating and organizing my locker and of course I did a lot of DIYs and a lot of tips and hacks with none other than Pandora Hobby's craft supplies. So yeah, this video is a collaboration with none other than Pandora Hobby micro craft supply store. They have stores in Norway, Sweden, and Denmark, and they also have a really good online store, which I will link down below. All right, I think that's all. Let's get right ahead and get into this video. All right, so we just arrived to the school and we're ready to decorate the locker. The first thing you want to do when you decorate a locker is pick out three main colors and then some accent colors as well. So my main colors are gold, black, and white, and my accent colors are light blue, light pink, and also some like glass fiber colors that you will see we put in. And after you've assembled what kind of colors that are the basics in your locker, you want to pick out some basic stuff to put in your locker, like a locker shelf in that color. To make a super simple locker shelf for yourself, you'll need a pack of white metal table legs, a pair of scissors, white cardboard, and Velcro. And make sure that the height of the legs and the width and depth of your cardboard fits inside your locker and the locker's measurements. Start off by cutting out four Velcro pieces and stick them to the top of the table legs. Then grab the opposite Velcro and attach this to both sides of your cardboard. Lastly, assemble it together and put the locker shelf into your locker. Now that we got all the organization put into the locker, let's decorate with some more organization because this is a locker, it's a small space. We want to maximize the amount of stuff we can put in but still making it look pretty. Therefore, I'm putting in this super cute DIY locker bin with a mirror so that you can check yourself out. Here's how to make it. You'll need a small round mirror, two packs of small stamping blocks, magnets, clear bracelet bands from Pandora's fancy collection, and jewelry glue or a hot glue gun. Firstly, glue the two fancy bracelet pieces together and then glue two identical stamping blocks pieces on either side. I'm adding one of the longer stamping block pieces to the back and one smaller piece to the back of the mirror. This will be the back of our locker bin. Lastly, let's add magnets. Simply put a dash of hot glue, which works best here, to attach the magnets to your locker bin. And that's all. Now just put it in wherever you want in your locker. I'm adding in my gold bin, which I just spray painted at home. It was originally gray. I spray painted it gold. Now it matches perfectly into my locker. Also, some very cute ways to decorate without it taking up a lot of space is decorating with some fairy lights and just watching me turn them on. Like, they're so pretty. putting in this very nice like framed picture art wall art piece from my locker. I think it adds a lot of color. It's very very nice as well and it's like a cute thing. To recreate it you'll need magnets, thick paper, a white paper frame without glass, colored pencils, a glue gun, and gold letter stickers. First up you want to draw a pizza and color it in on a piece of thick white paper like so. And feel free to add whatever type of toppings you'd like. When you're done, simply cut that out, grab your frame and glue on a piece of paper in your color of desire onto the back of the frame. Now assemble your pizza and letters on the paper. I chose it to say, you are greater than pizza. Hashtag a level math gang, where you at? When that's attached, flip your artwork around and attach magnets to each corner or use magnetic tape if you prefer that. And finally, go ahead and display this very cute piece of art in your locker. 
Now that all the organization and the decor organization is put into the locker, let's put in some pens and books and all the necessities that you have to have in your locker. These super cute mouth magnets are actually a DIY and they're so pretty to like hang up pictures with and all that so here's how you can make it yourself. You'll need pink female clay, a dotting tool, an exacto knife, a clay rolling pin, some magnets and a glue gun. Firstly, split your female clay in two and flatten one of the pieces until the marks on the top of the clay is no longer visible. I pre-made a simple mouth template just because freehanding is not my forte. And then I proceeded to first create a track around the template with the dotting tool and afterwards cutting that out with my X-Acto knife. Using your dotting tool, press down on the top ridge and bottom ridge of the lips for plumper looking lips. And with your finger, gently drag the edges of the mouth and smooth them out so that they're rounded. Finally, with your dotting tool again, split the lips in the middle, put them out on some baking paper and then put them into your oven following the instructions of your clay. Once they're done and fully cooled down, with some hot glue attach the magnets to the back of each mouth and put them into your locker. And then you can use these magnets to hang up everything from pictures to gum to cute things or quotes, whatever you feel like. We've gotten a long way, the locker looks decently put together right now, so let's add the last and final touches to make it super, super amazing and pretty. Let's take a look at how the locker turned out, shall we? I think the locker looks so cute. I'm so happy with the way it looked. If you decide to make your locker in any similar way or you decide to recreate any of the DIYs that I made or take into use any of the organizational tips, then make sure to hashtag that with the hashtag OMG, it's organization. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, make sure to stay tuned for the next video in this series. I'm super excited about the series. I'm like so pumped. Um, and yeah, I will see you next time. Bye everyone. Mwah.